Hello and welcome to the Indian Classical Guitar Academy. Today you're going to see the first chapter from the new Rag, Kivani and Tihai rhythms course. This is also related to the harmonic minor scale in Western music. To access this, become a member of the Indian Classical Guitar Academy. Special offer ends 31st of October. Enjoy this first chapter. See you next time. So let's just have a look at the notes of the scale for a moment, ascending and descending. It's related to the harmonic minor scale, has all the same notes as harmonic minor scale. Um, and you can play all of the seven notes on the way up and the way down. So it's seen as a rag that's actually got a lot of um, freedom, really, that, that there aren't any very strict rules about it. And um, I believe the origin is from Carnatic system of South India, but it's been brought into North Indian tradition and really, really popularized. It's very um, common rag for people to play. But a, a lot of the South Indian rags um, don't have such a strict system of um, phrasing and sort of do's and don'ts and notes that you have to skip. They're um, a little bit more of an open sort of framework that we, that we can use. We start with our sa, and then we have a re, should re, fret 9 and Kulmulgar at fret 10, Ma at 12, Pa at 14. We have a Kulmulgar at 15 and we have a Should Ni at 18 and then Sa at 19. So the speciality of Kirvani or harmonic minor scale that makes it quite unique is this Da Ni Sa. So there's that big gap, the um, three semitone gap between the Cornwall Da and the Ni. So in terms of intervals, that's like a flat six to a natural seven or a minor six to a major seven. So it, it's got that combination of major seven and minor six, which makes it very um, distinctive. You can't really miss that. Um, but principally it's, you think of it as being a minor scale with that minor third, kumulga. So sa, re, kumulga, ma, pa, kumulda, should, ni, sa. And same on the way down, sa, ni, kumulda, pa, ma, kumulga, And coming down from there, we can play the lower octave. Sa, Ni, Da, and Kumul Da at fret 3, and Pa at fret 2, and then moving on to the D string. Ma, Kumul Ga, Re, Sa, with the 5, 3, 2, 0. So Sa, Re, Kumul Ga, Ma, Pa, Kumul Da, Ni, Sa. Sa, Re, Kumul, Ga, Ma, Pa, Kumul, Da, Ni, Sa. And we're not really using the upper octave in any of these exercises here, um, but just so you can see where the notes are, um, we've got a Sa, and then you can play a Re on the B string, fret 17, and then Kumul, Ga, 18, Ma, 20, and then on the top string there's and then on the top string there's Pa at 17, Kumul Da at 18, and then you can play Should Ni at fret 21, and then I need to do a bend to get up to Sa. So if you've got 22 frets, you can play that on 22nd fret, otherwise do a little bend. So there's your Sa, back to 21 for Ni, Da, the Kumul Da there at 18 on the top string, Pa at 17, and then we had the Ma, Ga, Re on the B string, the 20, 18, 17, and then back to Sa on the, the G string for at 19. So yeah, that's a, that's a good way just to play the top. Play that top octave there. 
Um, I'll just point out one little box that I'm not really using it so much in these examples, but a, quite a nice little box is that imagine if, if you've just played like Sa, Re, Ga, Ma, Pa, Da, coming from the D string 12, 14, 15, 17, 14, 15, then you can play the 14, 15 on the B string for Ni, Sa and then Re at 17, and then from there you, you could sort of slide into the um, 18th fret on the B string, or you could go to the top string at fret 13 to play a Ga, and then play the Ma and Pa at um, 15 and 17. So that gives you a... A bit of a box shape between here so that's quite a useful thing to know you know different kind of flow can come out of that um, and even if you do, if you played and sort of moved into this box with the index finger on Sa, so Sa, Re, Ga, Ma, Pa, Da, Ni, but move index finger up to 15 of the B string to play Sa, then you've got, you can play the 15, 17, 18, 15, 17, 18 on the top two strings, Sa, Re, Ga, Ma, Pa, Da, and then you could use the G string at fret 18 to play that knee. There's Da on fret 15. And then you could even use the D string to play a Pa there at um, 19. And 19, 17, 15, Pa, Ma, Ga. So you've got a sort of box. Got a sort of box there emerging around the 15th fret. So the 15th fret is on every string. So that's a, like Ga, Ma, Pa, Da, Ni, just Da, Ni on the um, G string. And then on the B string, Sa, Re, Ga, top string, Ma, Pa, Da. And then you could sort of slide back to Re and Sa on the D string, 14 and 12. Um, so that's quite an interesting one. That might lead to sort of different sort of passages that you can play by. exercising what, what the hand can sort of do more naturally in that shape. So there's a, there's a few little shapes like that, but th those ones up here I think are, are particularly useful. If you want to start one of these courses, you can buy them individually or you can subscribe monthly to access all of them. For subscribers, there'll be new content every month, including live streams where we can answer your personal questions and go into more detail about applying this material. So far, we've covered Rag Yaman, Rag Bageshri, Jog, Hamsadwani, Kafi, and Rag Malkons, and there's much more to come. This body of work is a culmination of the 18 years experience I have as a guitar teacher, combined with the knowledge acquired through studying the sitar directly, and then adapting that material using the guitar techniques that suit this style best. To create these courses and gather the most authentic material possible, I work closely with other Indian classical musicians such as Manish Pingale and Gurdang Riot. I'd like to give a special thanks to my guru Rupa Panesar who has guided me in the creation of these courses. Much of the material has been adapted directly from my training with her. Also Shakya Khan, my guru, who's been inspiring me immensely and continues to shape how I approach the instrument and this incredible world of Indian classical music.
So come and join us at the Indian Classical Guitar Academy to start this journey. The first 50 subscribers will get a reduced price every month for the whole duration of their membership. So come and be one of the first guitar players to realize what it means to be an Indian classical musician.